Good morning, guys. Good morning. Monday morning. It's not bright and early by any means, but it's Monday morning. I to sit down and do a get ready with me. I don't have anything picked out because I'll just pick things out as we go. We're going to start with skincare. I woke up this morning with this. There's nothing there, so... I don't know what's going on with my face. I've got my matcha with me. All my brushes are clean. And it's an overcast morning. I think we're getting rain today. Which would be sweet because we need the rain. Uh, I had my alarm set for 8. It went off. I shut it off. And then I didn't get out until like 9. I'm just getting ready for the do now, even though it's like 10, I think. Um, I haven't been sticking to my, what do you call that, planner? I've been trying to stick to a planner because, as many of you know, many of us are walking around with ADD or ADHD. I don't have a severe case of it, just mild, but it's enough that it can cause problems in my daily daily life. I always find that having a planner, me writing out what I want to do during the day tends to help me stay on track. I think I've gone three weeks now without doing my planner. Therefore, there's a lot of things that I never got done. So, last night, I sat down and wrote out everything that I want to get done this week. Just for, like, daily things that I do, plus things that I want to get done. So, I need, I find I do better when I use one of those, because I check mark as I go. Um, We're going to go in with a little bit of... Serum. Does anybody else have to plan out their day though? Like, and not just mentally, you have to physically write it down. Otherwise, nothing's gonna get done. I have been the least productive in the past three weeks. Maybe let's just say for the entirety of April, I've been the least productive. I haven't done any baking this month. I think Grace, well, Grace did. She made cookies from scratch the other day. But I haven't made any new recipes. I haven't done any baking. No decluttering. Matt wants us to start decluttering. I feel like we're always trying to declutter. And I don't mean like big declutters at once. Just, you know, I don't know. Go through a drawer. Go through a cupboard. Just little things. See if there's anything that you're just holding on to for the sake of holding on to it. I know I keep putting off my bedroom closet. It's a disaster right now. I need to go through that again. I think with my cl my closet, I just need to get rid of the things. I need to keep my favorite things that I'm constantly wearing. And then just get rid of everything else. And I don't mean trash it, but like donate it or something. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to cover that up at all. I do have... The e.l.f. Camo Concealer... But I got, I picked this up the other day so I could use it for under my eyes just to help brighten them. I'll go with a little bit of e.l.f. Halo Glow. And get 
this. Keep this away from my nose. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, even like with the scheduling, um, even I haven't worked out this week or the week before. So I'm two weeks now without working out. Luckily for me, it's not that big of a deal. I plan on getting back into it today. My thing is to do a cardio workout in the morning and then weights in the evening and then I have a Pilates bar and I've been procrastinating since what November December to figure out how to do the Pilates at the Pilates bar and I've been seeing ads pop up or yeah I guess you would call them ads or commercials showing people using it so I'm gonna see if I can find a free video on YouTube of a workout for it or just come up with my own I guess Maybelline Age Rewind 4-in-1 Perfector I do like this I think I'm starting to like this more than the e.l.f. Halo Glow And I do like the Elf Halo Glow, but I I think I like this better. Let's go in with a sponge. I wonder if like a spider bit me on the face last night or something. <sighs> and I do not have, well, you know what? I still have some makeup by Mario samples. I'll see if I can cover that. This is not from my green. Not sure what that's from, but all I know is it wasn't there when I went to sleep or before I went to bed. Yeah, so over the weekend, uh, I did a grocery haul when I was at Walmart. I did pick up the e.l.f. Campbell Concealer. Um, hydrating Camo Concealer. There's no shade on the bottom. I think it's fair. And then I did pick up... This was like $3... The e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. They have other ones there that were like 7 and $8. But this one was like $3. I was like, um, let's just give this a try. I'm just spraying my sponge. Because I am going to try some concealer. See if I can conceal that. I will do a little of this under my eyes, but not that, because it's so light. And 
and I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, maybe this looks pretty yellow. So I'll take my finger and blend it like this. And then I'll go in with the sponge. Hmm. Yeah, I just thought there's like some brightness. That's not bad. I think I can, is that an eyelash? Yep. Hi, Lena. I'm just gonna, again, over here, take my... I might need more on this side. I think I got more on the other. I don't want to go too ham with that, just in case I make a big mess. There's no covering this right here. <clears throat> All right, I do have some Makeup by Mario samples. I'll see if I can pick out one of those colors or shades. Oops, what's in here? Oh, I didn't empty out my basket from the other day. I can go in there. Um, what would work? So I know the lightest shade is too bright. Maybe the light medium, 220, might work to cover that a little bit. Or is this too dark? We'll see. We'll put some on and see. No, one sec, guys. No. I was going to blend around. I'm probably not going to be able to make it like disappear, disappear, because I can still see it faintly. That light medium shade. Yeah, why don't you go up there? Is that dad's blanket? I can't get my... Just dab over it. I probably should have put a primer on. I know that Maybelline Age Rewind 41 Glow is a primer as well, but... Now this lightly, and I'll leave it like that right there. <laughs> what are you doing? That's my water bottle. I should have probably grabbed that. 
All right. So I'm fine with that, how that looks. Let's do my eyebrows before I actually start doing, doing things. We're going to use, let's just use this. If I can get this out of the way. Careful. I don't know why I'm saying careful. If you fall, you fall. We're going to use the e.l.f. Oh my gosh. I wish I could memorize. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in brown. So what do I have going on today? Laundry. I was going to do the laundry yesterday. But... No, we decided to watch Marvel movies instead. And then last night, Matt went to bed early because both of him and I have been hooking really bad headaches the past Friday, Saturday and uh, Saturday and Sunday. So the past two days, I'm chronic migraine sufferer. Plus, I have uh, VM, which is vestibular migraines as well. So I'm used to always having something going on, right? Um... Matt isn't. Well, he rarely gets even a headache. It's rare for him. Saturday, after we got back from our date, he had a headache. He didn't say anything, though, until I did. I was like, we got back from our date. It was fine, but then like, I hooked a headache that went from my my neck and just like whoop the whole way wrapped around to here i went to bed that night i took a few different things nothing touched it matt went to bed with the same thing but his went away yesterday was fine but as the day went on mine came back i took something it left and then matt got the exact same headache last night i was like i wonder if it's um the weather our weather is so annoying I know it's that time of year where, you know, spring is in the air, but winter is lingering. So it's constantly hot, cold, hot, cold. And I know that also plays a role in my migraines. But for Matt, he never gets them. So I found that kind of weird. Okay, that's what we're gonna sit with the brows today. All right, um, what do we wanna do? I'm gonna use the, do I have anything else? I'm like, hmm. I don't need to do like crazy makeup, just casual makeup, but I don't know if I know how to do casual makeup. Can Tammy do casual makeup? Probably not. Oh, where did I put that? I do know something I want to use, but I don't know where I put it. And I probably won't know where I put it until I do a makeup collection, which I think I wrote that down to do it for Wednesday. I was going to do it over the weekend, but we decided to watch movies. Even though it's just samples, I'll put it in the description so you guys know what I used right here. Even though it barely covered. Hmm. Okay, let's start with the Fenty Sticks since this is what I have closest to me right now. You're looking for something to get into? She's like, of course. One sec. Oh. And I'll use my sponge to blend this out. <laughs> I'm 
Man, oh man. Should open the windows. I just don't know how cold it would get in here if I open them. Should I open the window, Luna? There, at least I got a little bit of color back into my face. If you're wondering why there's like a glow over there, I got my Scentsy warmer on because I want to put in one of these new... I want to change out the scents. I bought two of these Sensationals from Walmart. Pretty please would smell so good and bubbles, but I think I want to put in some bubbles. This smells clean, but I smell sweetness. I don't know if the sweetness off this one is on this package or... But I want to... Anyways, yeah, my Scentsy Warmer is on beside me. All right, that is blended. Yeah, I even planned out our suppers for this week. Last week, I did plan out our suppers, and we stuck to it. There was like two days where I just switched the meals, but it was nice. All right, now we want powdered bronzer. And I'm going to go with Maybelline City Bronzer. This is a nice bronzer. And ooh, where did that brush go? I washed it, right? Huh. You know what? Was it this one? Nope. It's this one. Here we go. It's a wonky shape. I think it's just because of how it's been washed and stuff. But I do like take, using this one. I think the best for bronzer. And I just pounce it on my face. I do not think I have a high-end bronzer, like a powder bronzer. There's been a few that I've looked at, but... Biting the bullet, I have not done. You wanna know why? Not enough... Not enough high-end bronzers have piqued my interest enough for powdered anyways. I have to see them in person and I don't feel the need to go get a high-end powdered bronzer, especially when I really like this Maybelline City Bronzer one and also the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour Freshwear Bronzer. Like, for drugstore, I like both these. This one's a bit, one's more cool tone. This one's more cool tone. This one's a little bit more warm tone. Um, but I like both of these. Do I have any other drugstore powder bronzers? I do have a one Colourpop one in Avila Beach, which I like that one as well. And yeah, I think that's it for powdered. The closest to a high-end powdered bronzer that I have is the powder bronzer. I have the Give Beauty. Um contour slash bronzer duo and there is a bronzer in that that is pretty much almost how much was that i was gonna say that might be drugstore price but maybe not maybe not so i guess that would be the only powdered bronzer i have from that i would i guess i would consider high end right All right, blush. I should use something different that I haven't used 
in a while. Hmm. It's like, do I do cream? Should I do a cream bronzer? Oh, you know what? I let's use. I am gonna go with the cream blush because I just realized I gotta pull you guys closer a little bit so I can access a drawer here. Ooh, that one's pretty though. Do I want to use purple? Well, I got red in my shirt today. I'll use that another day. It's like I'll do like a purple look or something. Let's use this shade Bubble. Is it Bubble or Bubbly? Bubbly. So I think I've only used these once so far. So it's the list. These are new and mm -mm. I did pick up some new brushes the other day. It was like a, it's a three pack from Profusion. This is a buffing foundation. FD1, but I could see me using this for cream blush. A round tapered powdered br brush PD8 and then a flat setting powder PDF. I could see me using this for highlighter and powder, but this one here, I like the shape of these. I think next time I m might go back and get the eye matching eye eye set. This is like $14, I think, for these three brushes. I think I'm going to use this one, actually, for the cream blush. Because it has enough give in it. We'll see. It might not be a good brush for this. We'll see, though. And this is the shade Bubbly. You know what? This will work for me as a blush, brush, or cream. I want something that's not too big, but not so small either. And this is nice. So that went on nicely. What do you think, Luna? Just go in here and pick a little up. I do find like these, I, I can see this lasting a long time. Which is good and not good at the same time because it's cream. This might take away from the spot that I'm trying to cover up. If it does, we'll just pretend it's not there. <laughs> and I'm just pushing it into my skin, like pouncing it, not swiping. I feel like that's for me, it's the best way for me to blend it. Now you can take your sponge and just go over the edge.
so far so good we'll see i'll have to go to the other light because i do find like the ring light it does make to me it makes my skin look really good but then when i get away from the ring light it does look a bit different So we'll leave that there like that. <clears throat> now, I have put that away. Palettes that I've been wanting to use. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not going out today. I mean, I'm going to be doing laundry. You'll see these when I do my... I have quite a few of mini Natasha Denona palettes most nothing or nothing colorful I don't think what's that oh I haven't used that in a long time I want to use one of these ones today either I got a dip in that one the mini starlet I got a dip happening in this shade or I want to use this one mini I need a nude or sorry mini Biba doesn't she have a mini I need a nude oh that well mini nude what's this one my dream mini dream okay um hmm part of me is like what one do I want to do I think it's this one. Well, you know what? Let's do Biba because I've used this one, I think, the least. They're all pretty. Um, yeah, I'll use the Biba because I've used this one the least amount. But here's something. I need a lighter. I might need to pull in a face powder or something. Luna, what are you looking for, bud? Don't get comfy in that. I gotta go wash that. Alright. Well, you know what? I can make this work without... If I need a face powder to, like, buff, I'll get one. I'm gonna start with this ColourPop brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Put this right here above the crease. No, get. No, you cannot go up there. You cannot go up there. I've got shelves on my. <laughs> Hi. I have shelves on my wall in the back with perfumes on them. She wants to get up there, but no. So just like that, just lightly. Same thing over here. above the crease then I will take where did you go this brush same color Put it right here and blend back and forth on the lid and upward.
Ooh, I guess for this eye look, since I'm going peachy, I should have used the curvy Liss blush since that one's peach leaning and that's what this is, leaning peach. I didn't put anything extra on the brush. Next, I'm going to go into same brush, this color right here. I'm just going to go on the outer corner and blend it upwards a little bit, but not as high. Going back into that same color, doing the same thing. Oh, darn it. I forgot to get the eyelash curler. Then I'm going to go back into that first color that I used with this ColourPop brush. My eyelashes are sticking. Go into that. And just go over the edge here. It's like a nice peachy... Hi. Just like that. This one only has one shimmer, like these two, like all four are mattes except for this middle one. And so we'll just throw that shimmer on. Just like that. Then we'll take this brush. Well, I'm going to mix these two shades right here. Just on the outer corner here. So it looks like that. And you don't have to use all five shades. Usually when I do use these, I tend to use, depending on how many shimmers, use all. I end up using all five. I'm going to take that last shade and run that along my lower lash line. So, ooh, what one was it? I was like, did I mix these two for here? Or these two. I mix these two for there. Okay. I'm going to go into this shade right here. Is that matte? Yeah, it's matte. Swatched out. It looks dark in the pan, but swatched out. Hmm. Hmm. 
We'll see how this works. I'm just doing that with this ColourPop brush. It's an E28. So I have the eyes looking like that. You could take a little bit of that shimmer if you want. And put a little bit of that on the bottom right here. Just like that. And yeah, that's all five colors used in this look. So, all right. I'm just gonna take this brush again. I'm not gonna put nothing extra on it. Just go make sure it's all blended. For, <clears throat> before I go with mascara, I do want to go in with uh, uh, another blush. And I'm thinking um, Milani Luminoso. And I'll use this ColourPop blush. I can't remember how pigmented this one is. Just throw a lot of this on. And you don't need no highlighter with this. See how that's popping out more? We can't hide that, so. You can see the glow from it. All right. I'm going to spray my face with this before I do mascara. See if this actually helps makeup stay or not. <laughs> All right, for mascara, let's use. One, I'm going to use one that I'm not sure if I actually do like it or not. Mm. That's this L'Oreal Panorama mascara. I'm not, sh I'm not sure I actually like this one. So we'll use it.
I don't like the wand. Like, I don't like the wand. I don't like the shape of it. And the formula is not too wet, but it's not super dry either. But I mean, it does grab my lashes, like it coated them all. And I'm only a one coat girly. I don't dip back in and whatever's on the brush, that's it. Yeah, like, it's not bad. I don't like the shape of the brush, though, but maybe it needs to be like that for it to work. I My nose is starting to run, and I have nothing nearby me to, uh, so I can blow my nose. I got mascara on my lid. There. So not bad. I like, I like the end result. I just don't like the shape of the brush. And it's like, how are the lashes even grabbing? Or how is this brush even grabbing my lashes? Like, the bristles are almost non-existent. Like, there's some length up here, but down here, the bristles are so tiny. It's like, I don't even know how it's grabbing anything. I feel like mascaras, like where everybody's gonna hold their breath while they're putting it on. I watched uh, Hope Floats before bed last night. That's a good movie. It's an oldie, but it's a good one. Only one part in that movie makes me cry. It's the little girl crying for her dad. Ugh. And then I'll, and then I'd be like, why did I watch this before bed? <laughs> Yeah, I watched Hope Floats before bed last night, and I ate an entire thing of Hagen Dazs um, white chocolate explosion or something like berry explosion, and I had um, all dressed Doritos. Luna?
we're not going to get the same results on this eye. I can tell you guys that right now. I'm getting mascara all over my lid on this side. That's going to be close enough. Are you trying to get underneath that girl? All right. Take this. Try and clamp a little bit of the mascara here. I don't want to mess with that. And then a lip. Because I know I'm going to be like eating soon and whatnot. I don't want to do anything. Like I'll do something that I can reapply throughout the day. No problem. I mean honestly I can reapply all of it throughout the day. But I do have this Fenty gloss that I'm trying to use up. This one's almost gone. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And this is the Champ Stamp Fantasy. Oh, there's no color to it. I might start an empties basket and see if I empty anything by the end of the year. Both skincare and makeup wise. But yeah, this is, it's down, it's like down to here. So the halfway mark. This is today's look. Can I put this in there even though I didn't use it? Yes, I can. Um, yeah. I do want to go see... I think it looks pretty. Ugh. Let's go see how it is away from the ring light, though. <clears throat> it's like standing in my dining room. But yeah, that probably is going to end up being a pimple that comes through there. And then I'm by, right like directly in front of my window. It's so bright, so I can't tell if it looks powdery. Obviously, we're going to see texture. Probably going to see pores and dry skin. Which is to be expected. For me, anyways. But yeah, that's today's look. I don't know if that setting spray makes a difference or not, but try not to get the shadows so you guys can see. Yeah, I like the look. Just not this, but that's doing whatever it's doing and, you know. It'll be gone in a day or so, depending on what it is. Chances are it's some kind of pimple trying to invade my face. So, oh yeah, you guys see my shirt? It's the staying alive. I mean, buddy's drinking a coffee. Like I got it off Timu or Cheyenne. One of those two places, I can't remember. I haven't ordered off either of those sites in like, it's been months. I deleted both apps off my phone because I found myself just impulsively ordering shit off both sites, Timu and Cheyenne, stuff I don't need. So I got rid of them. 
but this is today's look. I switched my glasses out, so back to these ones. Um, but yeah, this is today's get ready with me. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. You don't gotta share my video because I don't even know where you would share it to. But yeah, if you subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any future content. Um, anyways, folks, have a good week. God bless.